After three months of campaigning, Toronto woke up to a new mayor-elect after a historic victory last night. Olivia Chow will officially make this her office in a couple of weeks, but getting to work right away was something she said she was going to do. I want to get started immediately to make life more affordable for the wonderful people of Toronto. And so it begins with meetings at City Hall to be brought up to speed as quickly as possible after a night of celebration. With 37% of the vote compared to 32% for Anna Bailao, Olivia Chow won this election with promises of change and a progressive people first approach. If you ever questioned your faith in a better future, and what we can do with each other, for each other, tonight is your answer. Before officially taking office, Chow said, now's the time to listen to staff and counselors first, then begin to take care of some of the priorities she outlined during her campaign, namely getting some of the affordable homes built that she says have been waiting for approvals. It's been stuck for a couple of years and there may be good reasons, I hope not. Uh, and uh, I will be working with the staff very closely to say, hey, my priority is get the shuffle in the ground now. Let's do it. That's a good time to sort of push through some of those major items, right? There are going to be natural points of tension with the, with the provincial government. So I think that um, she would be smart to sort of push through some of her, her kind of marquee pol policy items early. How much Chow will raise property taxes has been the major point of contention while debating the future of the city. She maintains it will be modest while considering other user fees and higher land transfer taxes. The new mayor is going to have lots of work to do to continue our progress on building public transit, to meeting the housing action plan, ensuring community safety, and I think one of the biggest things right now for them to focus on is, of course, the finances of the city. One of Chow's opponents in the race for mayor, sitting councillor Brad Bradford, was one of the louder critics of her plans to raise much needed revenue. You know, we have to be smart about this. You can't run City Hall on, on a you know, on a credit card. Uh, so we're going to need responsible government. We're going to have to work to, together to make sure that we keep life affordable here in Toronto. One of the many tough tasks ahead for the city's new mayor to try and tackle while trying to remind residents that she's inherited the problem. Do remember that $1.5 billion is where that deficit came from the previous administration. On top of it, that 7% tax increase that just been applied in the last two or three months did not come from Olivia Chow. It's been the previous administration. A long meeting. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. It's lots to do. The box. One of the points of discussion in the campaign was, of course, the Gardner Expressway, and that was brought up again today with Olivia Chow here at City Hall. She reiterated that she does not want to rebuild it above ground, and that's going to be a discussion in the months to come when it comes to bringing it to City Council. Mark McAllister, City News.